Today we review the ASOS T Cento Evo. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Villa Harmony. In today's video we take a look at ASOS newest pip shorts, the T Cento Evo. We received a copy at the channel this week and uh, want you to join me in the unboxing and uh, the follow-up review. The first also short I owned was called the Uno and then I owned like an S3 or something like that years ago. So this is uh, the latest evolution in their short line. So this is supposed to be top of the range. It just arrived for review. They've got a picture in there in their way of presenting things. Let's see what else they have. Basically, they got like a race car sitting in there. They talk about the comfort of the short. They talk about the pad. You can see the purple pad on that side. Let's go in here. And, you know, nice presentation. A lot of reading material. I haven't read it. I just opened the box. And you get to the short. And there's nothing else in the box. Let's put the box to the side. And these are the shorts. This is how they present it. I may need to use the scissors here. Let me uh, just slide this band out. Put it in the box. And these are their shorts. So let's walk through what catches my eye. This is designed for hotter, the warmer weather, of course. And it being summer, it is scented timely. So the back is very ventilated. It's really simple. So minimal material. And then they got it stamped. T Cento Evo. It says extraordinary distance. T Cento Evo extraordinary distance. Polyamide. Elastane and polyester. So polyamide is 73%. That's the makeup of the materials in the shorts. Elastane is 17% and polyester is 10%. Two stretchy bands. They've got a little emblem, I'd say, on here. And I guess it's the brand. It says G2. Z Ho G2, a leg, leg Ho Z2. I'm not sure if there's a Z or an L. But, uh, and then with the ASOS logo on the other side here. So there's this minimal, it's, it's similar to some of the other shorts that call themselves aerodynamic short from, from their competitors. And they've got the ASOS little button, which I like. The minimalist approach. It's not very gaudy. I like that. It's on the inside of the leg. It has a band, an elastic band at the bottom. The band has these grippers spaced apart to keep them in place. Let's see the other one. So they've got a black band on the left side and a gray band on the right side, which has the same grippers to keep them in place. And then the ASOS minimalist emblem is on your your hip. These are well placed reflectors, nice and, and long. Okay, I'll put them on so you can see them, what they look like on me. But before I do that, I want to show the pad. So let's go inside and out. This size that was sent is an extra large, and they are true to size. You don't need to size up or do anything like that. They have a unique way of doing their shorts just by looking at it as I turn it inside out. The dimple pads as usual, they're split, but soon, you know, they're, they're stitched in one panel, but they, you can tell that there's two separate pads. And then in the front, it's almost like an extra pocket. Right in the front is, is like a cradle that they build for your soft tissue, I guess. You can see right here, this is different. You don't sit on this, this is in front. And it's very lightweight, very soft. 
and then they have the same material of the pads that go around it. So when you look at the pad, you can see that the front is different, almost like underwear right here. I've never seen any other short made like that. The Uno that I have did not have that on it. So uh, let me go ahead and put the short on, see what it looks like, and then uh, I will take it on the road. The other thing I like about this is that they, they didn't put this tag in the fabric. They have a pin that is holding the tag because sometimes that little T that these manufacturers use, if you don't cut them properly, you can snag your fabric. So I just open the safety pin and just slid this out. And I think all of them should start doing that on these delicate fabrics. I'll put it together and put it over here. So this is the ASOS T Cento Evo. They had like the S7 and so forth. And this is now the top of the range. It's like an evolution of the S7 for 2020. Let me go put it on, see how it looks. So this is what the uh, ASOS T Cento Evo looks like. Uh, there are some differences in the shorts that I usually wear compared to this. I like the strap, they're nice and tight. You know, make sure you get your right, your correct size because it's size true to fit. Um, they're nice and tight. When I get in the riding position, they relax a little more. When they're standing, it's, when you're standing, they seem a little more uncomfortable, which is good in these high-end shorts. That seems to be the trend. The legs are nice and long, the way I like them. The bands are very solid, so you're not going to tear the bands when you when you mess with them and put them in place. It's very comfortable in here. That's why I showed you that pouch that they had in the front, almost like underwear. Very comfortable, very airy in here, in this area. Maybe that's why they took out the pad. So there's no pad here. That's what that little gray material and lycra. So the pad kind of went to the, they split the pad. The pad ends under here, it doesn't come to the front. Just like in the back, it does not come up here. It ends under there and it is split. You can feel them on the sides, on your sit bones. So you have the pads where you need them. Most of the top level shorts have this style where they split the pads. And I think that's, that's the way to design a cycling short. The front seems a little loose right here. I'm sure they designed it for a reason. There's a little band on the inside, but it's not elasticized. It's a, it'll, it's a little loose and we'll see how it holds up when you're riding. It just kind of lays there. It doesn't grab you here, which is fine. Uh, that's the way the back looks. Um, of course, I'm not going to be riding with this uh, base layer on, but you could use it with a base layer in the cooler weather, the cooler time of the year. But uh, because of the minimalist design, I expect it to be really cool in hot weather. So that's kind of why they did it that way. This is very airy back here. So let's put it to the test. All right, legends, I just got back from a spin. I went ahead and I just put on this white uh, base layer to illustrate a few things I discovered while I was riding in these shorts. Um, it's hard to get excited about these assholes short and the main reason is because they do their job very well and um, how can I compare it to they just do the job they're kind of like a Timex or in the component industry they would I would probably dub them as like Shimano and uh, I would dub probably Rafa like Campagnolo um, Rafa has more history and more soul Assos just does the job. What I mean by that is the the right up here, if you get one of the products, they got a bunch of stuff in there. I'm not gonna read about what they talk about. They're the first to innovate. Uh, the first Aero One Piece skin suit, the first Lycra, only by DuPont, the company. First Lycra cycling shorts came from Asso. First bib shirt pattern design. First multi-density, all yada yada. But anyway, then they talk about the importance of fitting. So I want to talk about what I experienced. If you get their product, you can read up on that, their marketing spiel. What I experienced was that the straps, which is a positive, are more comfortable in the drops than when you're standing. 
and then I notice that there is a gap right here. This thing does not, I mentioned that earlier, it doesn't lay on your body per se. Um, it, it contours right down here. So when you bend in the saddle, then as your stomach folds, it fills up the fabric. So they really put a lot of thought into the fit. They talk about it in their spiel about, you know, fit and avoiding wrinkles, and which would lead to sh chafing and all of that. That was all good to know. The leg grippers really stay in place. They did not move on me. You know, you have to set them. Once you set them, they stay in place. And I, I usually like mine to where there are no wrinkles here, no bunching up, and you don't have any chafing on your saddle. The pads are in place, and you kind of forget they're there to just do their job. What I mean is that. I mean, I, I'm, I'm mentioning Rafa because I know people are going to ask about the comparison. They're just different. Uh, it comes down to what kind of styling you want that day per se. They, they each do their job very well. Uh, the ASO style that I like are these little buttons. They're reflectorized. You kind of have to shine a light. They look silver and gray, but when light hits that ASO emblem, it lights up. The same thing with the one here on the leg. I really like that. And even in the studio here, I could reproduce it with a flashlight. Let me see if I can do it with this flashlight. I've got a flashlight here. Let's see. Let's see if it will light. Of course, the, the these, these the reflectorize on the leg, the, the, the reflectors on the leg, they're very effective. I'm hoping that this flashlight will allow it to pick up, at least on this side here. Hope you can see that. Let me do it on the leg. Maybe I can see it too. Right there. Yeah, right there. So when you take the light away, it looks silver. The also symbol, but that's a reflector. And I thought, wow, that's a nice touch. And of course, this band is not gray for any, re any reason other than it's another reflective area and when you're anything on your legs that's moving is always a plus so that's a reflectorized band the black is not but that gray is so i was wondering why they did the gray and now it makes sense but um they just work you you forget that there which for some riders and myself included that's a good thing but uh the the rafa protein shorts if i were to compare it here they're like an old friend they're there, they remind you they're there, but they're not in the way, but you know they're there. Whereas the ASOS is like, you wonder, is it or isn't it there? But you just notice that you're riding comfortably. So their pads being perforated are completely different, very breathable. I like the way they did the front. This is very low, it's easy to go to the bathroom. This is cut very low. So that's really, really good. Um, nice, strong elastic on here. These are going to live the life of the shorts. They're not flimsy at all. The minimalist design on the back is perfect for hot weather. So I didn't have any problems with overheating while they were there. I did miss the ability to carry stuff in there, but they're not designed. They didn't put a pocket there. That's just the way these shorts are. So I think that those of you who are going to ask for a comparison, I think you want to look at it like, it is nice having a choice that if you feel like styling in the ASOs, style that day you wear their shorts it's gonna work if you feel like going with the rafa look that will work because even the leg grippers are different rafa uses a longer band down here and it's not as elasticized as these these are heavily elasticized they really stay in their position but both are very good shorts and uh, i just want to wrap up the review by getting on the bike and kind of showing you what i experienced when i was on the road So the pads are placed properly. They're on your sit bones. Nothing's wasted back there. You can't even feel them. They stop under here, which is where you need the pads. Um, when you initially get on a bike, the grippers kind of move up a little bit. I would probably like a choice of maybe two to three centimeters longer for taller riders, but that's really just nitpicking because these are pretty long. You know, 
I, uh, I rode in them for about two hours with no ill effects. Very comfortable. Like I said, they do their job. They don't really provoke any excitement other than the fact that, hey, I'm not uncomfortable. So there's really not much else I can say. I like the styling. I love these little buttons they put on there. The Astros design, I think it's really subtle instead of having it look really gaudy. Uh, so those of you who are looking for a choice in the top luxury sh uh, shorts line, you can try the Asso Cento. They've got other categories of shorts, but I wanted to uh, try these since they were sent. When I had the option, I said, well, why don't you just send the top? So by trying the top, we'll know the technology will trickle down to the lower level. So the Asso's Cento Evo. Nice riding shorts. So when you stand, there's no bunching up. 